we want to find a plane containing the point four comma seven comma negative seven and parallel to the plane x minus five y minus four z equals three. We want to find the equation standard form with a equal to one. If we take a look at the point normal form of the equation of a plane that contains the point x sub one comma y sub one comma z sub one and has a normal vector n with components a comma b comma c, notice how if we distribute the coefficients of x, y, and z would give us the components of a normal vector. So looking at the equation of the given plane, notice how the coefficient of x would be one, the coefficient of y is negative five, the coefficient of z is negative four. So a normal vector to the given plane, we'll call it vector n, would have an x component of one, a y component of negative five, and a z component of negative four. Now the equation of the plane that we're trying to find is parallel to this plane, and therefore this normal vector would also be a normal vector to the plane we're trying to find. So now we know a normal vector to the plane we're trying to find, as well as a point in the plane, so we can find the equation in point normal form, and then better in standard form. But before we do this, let's look at this graphically. We're trying to find the equation of this yellow plane that contains this blue point, and we're given the equation of this blue plane or this light green plane below, and we found a normal vector to the given plane, which would be this purple normal vector here. And notice this vector would also be orthogonal or perpendicular to the yellow plane containing the blue point, the plane we're trying to find the equation of. So we have all the information we need in order to find the equation of this yellow plane containing the blue point. Because the plane contains the point four comma seven comma negative seven. For the point normal form, we can let a equal one, b equal negative five, c equal negative four, x sub one equal four, y sub one equal seven, and z sub one equal negative seven. So we'd have a, which is positive one, times the quantity x minus x sub one, that'd be x minus four, plus b, and since b is negative five, we have minus five times the quantity y minus y sub one, that's y minus seven, and then plus c, but c is negative, so minus four times z minus negative seven, which becomes plus seven equals zero. Now we'll distribute and write this in standard form. So we'd have x minus four minus five y plus thirty-five minus four z minus twenty-eight equals zero. So we'd have x minus five y minus four z. Combine the constants, we have negative four plus thirty-five, that's thirty-one, minus twenty-eight, that would be positive three. So we have plus three equals zero. We want the constant to be on the right side, so we'll subtract three on both sides of the equation, which would give us x minus five y minus four z equals negative three. This would be the equation of the plane that is parallel to the given plane and contains the point four comma seven comma negative seven, which again would be the yellow plane pictured here containing this blue point. I hope you found this helpful.